Hi, my name is Chris Trace. I'm part of the Wikivec team, and I'm going to show you briefly a few new features on the Wikivec homepage that we hope you'll find useful. So, for those of you who don't know about Wikivet, Wikivet is a website that has been set up with its aim to create the complete online undergraduate curriculum that will all be free and accessible by vet students, vets and nurses all around the world. Um, it started off as a collaboration between some vet schools in the UK and there's now over 200 vet schools around the world that have students or vets using the site, which we think is brilliant. I'm just going to show you a few key features um, on the front and essentially I'll start from the top and work my way down the page. So we, as you can see at the top, we currently have over 5,000 articles which are pages of veterinary content within Wikivet. These have all been created by vets or vet students and a lot of them have now been expert reviewed and that's the process we're going through. But also at the top you can see there's a nice big register button. So if you're not registered with Wikivet already, it's free to join. There are restrictions based on um, you have to be a vet student or a vet or a vet nurse or a vet student nurse or somebody that's involved in teaching veterinary content. Um, that's, that helps us restrict access from the public so that they don't go in and edit pages that don't need editing. Okay, so if you were to click onto the register button, that would take you through to a register screen and then you'd have to fill in this kind of information. We've now also now included a really large articles button. And what we call an article is a bit like a page in Wikipedia. So it looks very similar in style and that's deliberate so that people are familiar with how to use it. But each of these pages is a page on a specific veterinary topic and it's being created by, um, normally by a vet and then being re reviewed by our team who are all vets also. So within these pages you'll have um, some images, some information about a topic. You'll also have lots of links within the text that go to other articles within Wikivet so that you can move between topics really easily. And a lot of our articles will then have references, links to external references, um, and also, my next bit I'll move on to, e-learning resources. So the learning resources we have here, which are accessible via this button, um, they enable you to test your knowledge on a topic, um, but also to kind of illustrate a topic, so there's quite a few videos and things in there. So I'll start off and show you a bit about how we navigate around the site. So I've just clicked on the articles button on the front. And because we do have so many pages on here, so again over 5,000 pages, um, it can sometimes be a bit difficult for people to find what they want. We do have a search bar at the top here, and as you start to type in a topic, you'll see that you get all of the possible options drop down. So we hope that's one way. But within our articles section, you can also browse by several different categories. The top one you can see here is browsing by species, so we could look at content specific to small animals, large animals, or exotic species. We could also browse our content by discipline, so for instance by histology or embryology, um, anatomy, normal ranges, that kind of thing. Or you can browse the content by body system, so you can see here alimentary, cardiovascular, endocrine for instance. So you'll be able to go into these areas and then find the content you want. So we think that's quite a nice way of doing it. Wherever you are within Wikivet, you can always get back to the home page by clicking on the Wikivet logo in the top left corner. And we really hope that, that now we have all these links to our main content on the home page, you'll find it a lot easier to then get to the things you want. Because it's all about trying to maximise our students' time in revision and when they're trying to find information. We don't want to waste any of your time. I was a student myself not very long ago and I remember how precious time is. Okay, so I'm now going to just show you some of the top layers within the learning resources section. And this has been um, organised so that you can see broadly the types of resources we have. They're organised very similarly within those levels, um, like the articles. They're organised by species, by discipline and by 
body systems. So you could look through any of these resources and find something specific and to the information you're trying to find. So I'll start off with the top row. Here we have flashcards. And flashcards are really useful self-assessment tools. Um, they're a little bit like, I don't know when you revised, if you had bits of card, you'd write a question on one side, and then you'd turn it over and you'd have the answer on the other side. So we have a virtual way of doing that, so you don't have to have boxes and boxes of these flashcards. Um, essentially, all of our flashcards, you'll see a question, you'll click to reveal the answer, and then they have a link that takes you straight back to the article that has the answer on it. So if you're going through the flashcards and you find a question you don't understand or an answer you don't agree with, you can click to go to the, the article and see where that came from. Next one along here is another really nice interactivity. This is called Dragster and um, it's a drag and drop activity that's really useful for anatomy. So you have uh, an anatomical image and then some labels that you have to drag onto the anatomy. And this enables you to test if you know where the muscles are, where the nerves are. If you get it wrong, it will show you where they are. And a lot of them then have questions that link into Wikivet, so you can test yourself there as well. And our, our final kind of self-assessment tool is something we call Wikiquiz. And that's um, a load of multiple choice questions. So you'll get a question and several options. You have to click the right one. If you click the incorrect one, you'll get feedback um, and they will always link again to the article. So you can go through a lot of these quizzes and um, cover a whole topic and then any time you get in trouble and you don't understand, one click and you're straight to the article. You don't have to go and look up a book. We also have some multimedia resources within Wikivet. So here you can see our video section. Um, those videos are also organised by body system, body species, um, sorry, by species and by discipline. You can go into here and see surgery videos, for instance, or videos of anatomy. So all kind of stuff that we hope will help you learn the content. We also have more and more podcasts appearing within Wikivet. And some of these are just audio versions of a page, whereas others might be more in-depth discussions on a topic. There are some PowerPoint resources available, and also even some um, computer-aided learning packages. So there's a really nice example here. And these have all been designed to um, enable your students or yourselves to go and learn a topic and really kind of um, figure out what it's all about. So here's a resource that's just recently won some awards actually. You can see this is all linked up within Wikivet with the description of it. And in this resource you're able to get the dog to follow your finger, like so. And we can shine a torch in its eyes and see if you can spot the deficit. And then you've got options, you can select an option and then see if you got it right. So these kind of resources are within Wikivet and all resources within Wikivet are free for your universities to use. You can use them in teaching as long as you attribute them to the creators and all that information is on these pages. I'll go back to the home page again. Um, another way we're trying to organise our content, because we appreciate that your time is very valid, we wanted to make it really easy for you to get to the right stuff. Um, our key audience really, the majority of users of Wikivet, um, and there's over 12,000 at the moment, are vet students. And of those vet students, most of them are pre-clinical vet students, which means students in the first or second year of study. And around the world, a lot of um, the same topics are taught in the first and second year. So you have things like anatomy, you have things like um, bacteriology, virology, those kind of topics. So what we've done is put together a load of links to all those kind of preclinical content um, topics, which you can see here. So we've got some anatomy and physiology links, we've got some immunology links here, and then We've got a few sections under construction, admittedly. So if you want to help us out with that, that'd be brilliant. Uh, and we also have some specific learning resources that are really useful for the first years. What we're working on at the moment as well with several vet schools is working on mapping out your curriculum. So what your students will be able to do is go to a school page, which is specific for your school here in, um, in Wikivet, 
and on there the student will be able to access their course, see which term they're in, which week they're in even, and then look at the lectures they've got and there'll be some links to pages that you have recommended. So we hope that's a way for students to again find the kind of information that they really want and it's an opportunity for schools to um, publicise specific content that they think is really good. And again, I'll go back to the home page. And our final section I'm just briefly going to show you is pretty self-explanatory and it's called Frequently Asked Questions. So hopefully you can guess what that includes. We do get a lot of people asking us um, how to register or how to become more involved in Wikivet, how they can get Wikivet to work at their school and a lot of um, these pages are now all grouped together so if you were to go to the frequently asked questions section there'd be answers there. If you can't find the answer on there we also do run a quite active Facebook group so there's a link just here at the bottom of the page that you can see there just under frequently asked questions that will go to the Facebook page also the link at the top of the page will take you there and a lot of people have posted questions and we've answered them on there so you might be able to find that somebody's already asked that question if you still can't get hold of anybody and you don't know the answer then please by all means do contact us we do get a lot of questions so we will not be offended and there's no such thing as a silly question um, our email address is wikimaster at wikivet.net there's also a link to our email address underneath the frequently asked questions section and below these new sections there's then the standard um, front page that we've had on Wikivet for a while. So we have a news section here and um, we'll highlight different things that are going on within Wikivet. There's links to our news archive so you can see some of our past stories and also a link to our newsletters so you can see um, we send out a newsletter every month to tell you what's going on with Wikivet and you're able to register via there. We've also got a new content section here on the right hand side of the screen and that just highlights new content that's being released or reviewed um, as we go through it. And down the bottom there's um, a section for vet schools and at the moment you can see we've got um, a world map here with a few pins here and there um, all over the globe. This doesn't represent all the vet schools that have students and vets using the site yet and um, this is just a fraction of them. So. Um, it's possible when you click on this map also you'll be able to zoom in and see where the vet schools are. Um, one thing we're trying to do actually, if while I have your attention, um, what we're trying to do is get people to actually create pages for their own vet schools. So if you look on the map and notice that your school isn't on there yet, we'd love to have you creating a page for your school. And the best way again is to contact us which is at wikimaster at wikivet.net and we can then help you create that page and show you how to do it. Um, and a keen-eyed amongst you will have noticed our news article at the moment. So Wikivet are currently recruiting student ambassadors. We're looking for students um, to act as representatives for your vet schools and we're aiming to try and get a representative in every one of the vet schools around the world that we have participating with us. Um, there's a link to a page for more information there. So if you are interested in that post, please do get in touch with us. That's all I have to say now for our first video. Thank you for listening. We hope you find it useful and um, hopefully we'll have lots more of these kind of videos to show you what it's all about with Wikivet. Thank you.